Yeah, so look, we're overall very pleased with last year's results. Uh, revenues up 5%, pre-tax profits up 16 and earnings per share up more than 30%. I think underlying that, we saw some really, really good growth metrics. Uh, Hong Kong, revenues up 14%, mainline China up 14 retail banking up 13, uh, commercial banking globally up 12. Uh, so very, very pleased with uh, what we achieved on growth last year. Average interest earning assets globally up seven. So very, uh, we saw uh, extremely good growth last year, revenues up five, I think. Uh, we were hit in Q4 with market softness um, in our markets related businesses. Uh, revenues were off about a billion dollars in Q4 relative to a very strong Q3. I think most of that can be explained by uh, wheat market revenues in our global markets uh, business and in the market sensitive bits of our insurance business. Uh, can you talk to me about the cost side of things because what I can see for the year is that the uh, adjusted operating expenses were actually up 6% and I know that again another target of, uh, of, of Mr. Flint uh, was to maintain that positive jaws and that revenue growth should uh, supersede uh, the cost growth but looking at these numbers today it looks as though the cost side of things has really been swelling up so can you give us an idea of uh, how long we should expect this type of operating expense upshoot to continue for? Yeah, look, we were very disappointed to have missed our JAWS target for the year. We did commit to positive JAWS. We were very much hit by adverse markets in November and December, which meant that we saw revenues drop about a billion dollars uh, relative to Q3. Uh, cost growth was just over about 5.4%. Uh, we had negative JAWS of just over 1%. I think underneath that cost growth, though, what you saw is a continuing commitment to invest very, very strongly into a combination of growth and uh, digital transformation. Investment growth was up uh, over 10% on the prior year. So I do think we're, as we go into 2019, you'll see us continuing to invest heavily, but I think we are already starting to be a bit more cautious on some of the headcount growth we would have forecast. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.